Hey, how you guys doing? This is Mobile Arts Twelve speaking. Um, I know it's been a long time. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I've been really busy uh, with classwork and stuff like that, and preparing for some tests. Uh, so I haven't been really able to upload any uh, videos as of late. But um, I'm starting to get back into the groove of things. Um, specifically for this uh, for this video, I'll be talking about some general chemistry video. Uh, excuse me, general chemistry topics. Um, some students requested this uh, from me, so I decided to make this video. And this video specifically talks about solubility, product constants, KSP problems. And uh, in these series of videos, I'll be trying to address all the possible problems that you guys could possibly face on an exam or something like that. So, again, this video is going to be broken up into... Uh, separate sections and each video will be focusing on a specific question so for example uh, this first video this first part of this video will be dealing with um, and in our in our and the compound that we will be looking at is magnesium fluoride and all of our problem all the problems all the questions are going to be addressed in accordance with that compound and so the questions I will be addressing and solving uh, are what is the concentration of magnesium and fluorine at equilibrium? What is the molar solubility of magnesium fluoride? And how many grams uh, of it do we have at how many grams of magnesium fluoride dissolve uh, at the equilibrium state to reach equilibrium? Um, how does magnesium, the solubility of magnesium fluoride, how is the solubility affected if we have a common ion? And uh, and some other questions are like um, how how much magnesium fluoride would dissolve in like five liters or six liters of water. And the final question I think I'll be addressing is what is uh, what if magnesium fluoride comes from different salts? How would that be? Uh, how would that affect things?